This is Virginia. Thank you for subscribing us in 8,000 miles away. Reach 1,000 subscribers already. Thank you for supporting us. And we hope your unstoppable support. God bless us all. Peace. Welcome to 8,000 Miles Away. We have a topic this afternoon. This is your host, Vic. This is your host, Vic. And again, we have an excellent topic this afternoon. Uh, the topic is from a blogger, a Filipino blogger that is an African-American guy in the Philippines. And we'll get to what his name is later on in the video. we we'll do a reaction video to an amazing video where he explains just what it takes to make your relationship work in the Philippines, to make your life work in the Philippines. But, you know, we got those detractors. We got people here in the States who just don't get it. And for those people, I have to stay motivated, stay ambitious. Let's hear it. Let's hear this. Yeah. Huh. Three Appreciate. in the morning on the West Side Highway, yeah. top down, baby. Motivation. It's the blueprint, baby. It's them telling me what I could not be. Oh, well. Hey. Uh. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey. Stop that. Let's play it one more time for you who did not hear it. One more time. Let's back that up. Yeah. Huh. Three in the shit. morning on the West Side Highway, yeah. top down, the baby. Motivation. It's the blueprint, Fuck baby. Y'all. It's them telling me what I could not be. Oh well. Hey. Uh, yeah. Oh. Hey. Hey, it's a uh, special dedication. Hey. How's that? The reason why I played So Ambitious by Jay-Z and Pharrell uh, is that I refuse to let family, friends tell me that searching for a new life overseas is wrong. I stay motivated. I stay, amb I stay ambitious and I'm committed to the plan. 
to turn fantasies into realities. I mean that, to turn fantasies into realities. Virginia likes to say, do your best and God would do the rest. That is our little saying uh, when we talk about our goals. Makes sense. And, but on hindsight, you, you have to know that, uh, that once you get to the Philippines though, once you get to the Philippines, you don't bring your Western mentality and culture uh, to your relationship. Remember the Philippines uh, will change you. you you're not gonna change it. The Philippines has 7,641 islands. Only 2,000 of those islands are actually inhabited, inhabited and foreigners know about them. Uh, the Philippines is uh, an amazing, amazing destination. And the Filipino women, the Filipino women, they demonstrate an exceptional physical trait with their merino, merino colored skin and, 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 uh, and some of the most beautiful women in the world. This you will find out. This will you find out quickly when you get over there. All the millions of women dying to meet uh, men. You know, some of them like Filipino men, but there's a segment that likes us. And uh, you, that, uh, this you will find out. And, uh, but maintaining a relationship with these women can be challenging and, and sometimes rewarding. Well, I mean, challenging and rewarding uh, sometimes. And uh, the, uh, the real issue is learning to immerse yourself into the, uh, yourself into the culture and not bringing your Western thinking and baggage into their world. Uh, like I said uh, earlier, I have a very interesting conversation, a topic today from an African-American uh, YouTuber. I want you to hear it. Uh, you're going to learn today. Please listen to him. Please listen to him. His name is Big Man. He has an interesting uh, story about how to make your relationship and your life work in the Philippines. And I, uh, let's, let's, roll it. Let's, let's roll the video. Let's roll it now. Let's roll it now because I want you to hear this. Let's get after it. Bands, pie in the sky. Let's bring that back. What? I'm bring that back about two, three, about right here. About right here. Okay. Here's let's get it right here. If you're not a subscriber, no, subscribe. not, not there. But listen, listen to him. Some people say that. Coming to the Philippines is a fantasy. Right. High in the sky. Right. What I'm proclaiming, other people proclaiming, some people are saying that it's just not true. It, it just don't happen. Okay? I heard one guy explain that the only thing that is happening with a 3,000 mile trip to the Philippines Correction, that's eight, that's eight thousand miles. Yeah, she'll take your money. Wait a minute, let's see. Yeah, Let, let's get back at that. Hold on, let's see here. Just one second, guys. Just one second. That's the time stamp. I'm that. understanding. Let's time stamp it right, right here. Say that coming to the Philippines is a fantasy, pie in the sky. What? I'm proclaiming, other people proclaiming. Some people are saying that it's just not true. It, it just don't happen, okay? I heard one guy explain that the only thing that is happening with a 3,000 mile trip that's, to the Philippines is that you cut- Correction, that's 8,000 miles <laughs> to the Philippines. I'm in here for some pussy and all she want is your money okay so let me tell you that i have been upset and highly offended uh when i heard that i know controversy makes a star so sometimes people will say stuff and it's only to shake the does, you know, but I want you to understand that when
when people are telling you, call them and you listening to them and they're giving you advice and they're saying, hey man, in reality, all you coming here for is some pussy. Let me tell you this. You're not flying no 3,000 miles for no pussy, okay? And if you can afford an exotic explosion like that, so be it. But for the most of the viewers, most of my subscribers, I'm understanding that what they're trying to do is have a relationship, establish a relationship, establish a home life here in the Philippines or find them a suitable mate and bring them back to the U.S. Okay, that's my understanding. So if you're going to say that all you coming here for is some pussy, then we, we, we didn't, we didn't, you know, we, we just done messed up all together. And that your fantasy about meeting this person and establish, establishing this relationship is a hoax. Good people, let me tell you something. It's not a hoax, okay? It's not a fantasy. It can be achieved, okay? If you avoid some pitfalls, if you avoid some mistakes, okay? Now, I'm gonna give you a boots on the ground experience that could make the reality of what you're trying to do, your fantasy, to make your fantasy, quote unquote, and your establishment of a relationship here in the Philippines, that what could make it seem like it's only a relationship about sex and money because it can become that if you make certain mistakes, okay? If you take a woman out the mountains who's used to chopping wood for fire to cook her food, who's used to raking leaves, sweeping the dirt, to clean the area brown where they live, wash their clothes in a bucket, a basket, okay? And that's their exercise, walking a mile or two to go to the Palinki to buy fish. Three cook, times brother, he cook, he cooking, he cooking. Et cetera, et cetera. If you change their lifestyle to a lifestyle whereby which they got two, three motorcycles. Uh -huh. They got a brand new house. Right. They kids go to private schools. Uh huh. Okay. Come on now. And the mama, all the family live with you. Mm. And you paying for everything. Right. You paying for the kids' school. You paying for the mama, the everybody, the brothers. You take you supporting everybody. Okay, and all of this in a little bitty old house. Well, if you created that type of situation whereby which you done brought the Western civilization to Southeast Asia and you're trying to make it rain for a Filipino. Look at him cook, look at him cook. Yeah, it's gonna seem like it's about money and pussy. Uh, that's all you can see is your money coming out your pocket because you, you're paying all these exorbitant expenses like you was on the on the hamster wheel back in the states you was doing the same thing back in the states then you come here and you do the same thing you send private schools motorcycles new house right new clothes you got to go to the gym and work out you you got to go to the gym and work out because you don't wash clothes no more. You don't clean no more. You don't do none of that stuff no more. You don't completely change the lifestyle of the Philippines to a Western lifestyle. Cook, brother, yeah. cook. If you do something like that, 
your relationship gonna be about money and pussy. Cause right. the only thing you gonna get out of it is some pussy, and all you gonna be doing is spending your money. Uh. And when you look at it, that's all you doing. Mm. You spending your money, and you enjoying the pretty pussy. But let me tell you, that's a mistake. That's something that you don't want to do, okay? You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You want to come here. You want to slow walk this adventure, okay? You want to get your Filipina. You don't want to change her culture to a Western civilization culture here in the Philippines. Adopt to this country. Right. Adopt to this weather. Don't sit in the house under the air con all day and all night long because it's hot. Yeah, let me tell you something. Protect yourself from this heat because this heat, if you watch the Filipino, he protects himself from this heat. He don't be out here fooling around 12, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock when it's hot. He don't be out here in this heat, okay? So protect yourself from this heat. But the other thing is, what, what you need to do is, remember, you come here to learn this culture in order to become a better person. If you wanna come here and establish a Western civilization culture here in the Philippines, you need to go back to, to, to where you come from. Go back to Kentucky, go back to Mississippi. Cause you're not learning nothing. You're not you're not gonna learn a damn thing. When you come here, man, you gonna learn something. You gonna become a better person. And the way you're gonna be able to learn it, my friend, is through your relationship with the Filipina, because she's gonna be the one that's gonna introduce you to the people and the culture. You understand me, okay? It's not about the pussy. It's not about your money. How much money you get means how well you gonna make it here. No, that's not true. That's far from reality. That's the reality that you're gonna make if you come here and you establish what you did in the West, in the US, if you come here and try to establish that here, then that's what you're gonna have. Right. You're gonna have a relationship based on your money because you will not be able to fulfill any of your dreams unless you got money to pay for it. So what I'm trying to tell you is come here, learn this culture. Don't be here like you in a strip club making it rain. Come here, sit down. Settle down, Put, get your hands out your pockets. Don't think you gotta buy a woman this, you gotta buy that, you gotta buy a washing machine, you gotta buy this, you gotta, no you don't. Did she have it when you met her? Come on, come here and learn something. No, the fantasy, the fantasy is that that beautiful woman that you see on the dating site that you see on the video chat calls, the sweet, innocent, charming, caring, funny girl, funny woman, she can establish a life for you with a little bit of money, if you got a little bit of money. Of course, you gotta have some money because you gotta live, you gotta support her, you gotta take care of her. Okay? So you gotta have some money, but it ain't about your happiness is based on how much money you got. I'm trying to tell you, man, that's a lie. If anybody tell you that, that's a lie. Tell them, I said it's a lie. Big man in the Philippines said that that's a lie, and he approved it to you that that's a lie. Okay? So come here, establish your relationship. Don't be about spending money, spending, spending money, spend. Because of course, if you spend the money, what fool won't take it? What they say? 
if you see a sucker licking. Huh. Right? So if you're spending your money, yeah, they're going to take it. They're going to take it and then some. Why? Because you say it's your money, you spend it how you want to spend it. Well, they, they agree with you. They'll help you spend it all. And that's all you go, that's the only kind of relationship you're going to have. You see? And when people say it's about how much money you got and that that's all a woman want. No, the Filipina don't want your money. She'll take your money. You put it out there, she'll take it. But what she want? She wants somebody to be with her forever. She wants somebody to love her. She wants somebody to protect her. She wants a companion. She wants somebody to respect her. She wants somebody to love her children and to be a family. She's not looking for somebody that's and just because you got an income, you think you something, you think you the boss, you think you the man, cause you got an income, cause you bringing money in, you buying this, you buying that. You think that because you spending your money, she feels like she ain't gonna do nothing other than you. Bro, you are, if you take that mentality, because you got to remember, when she met you, she didn't have it. So it's easy to go back to what you get, what you had, because you already been there. You see? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put, put one more thing to you. This brother was supposed to leave in February and go back to the U.S. All of a sudden, he didn't go. I'm going to tell you why he didn't go. Because all the stuff that he done, his relationship is rocky. And he know, he believed that if he had left, he may not have had nothing to come back to. Okay? So listen, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You make a plan. Have a plan. Plan your relationship. Your relationship, your fantasy can come true. All you gotta do is make a plan, have a strategy. All you gotta do is don't be a simp. Don't be a sucker. Don't think your money is gonna buy you happiness. Don't think your money is the most important thing because it's not. It's not, it's not about your money. It's about your companionship. It's about the relationship that you, you build and establish, the trust, the authority that you set up in your household. That's what it's about. And you're gonna find out that you can have no money and that girl gonna love you to death. She gonna do everything for you. She gonna make things happen for you, okay? Your fantasy, about coming to the Philippines, having a relationship can work. It can work. Boots on the ground experience is when you go out and try to establish a relationship as you did in the US on that hamster wheel, it ain't gonna work here. Cause all you're gonna have is a money pussy relationship. Yeah, she'll take your money. And yeah, all only thing gonna seem like you getting in some pussy. Cause all your money going out, the, out your pocket out the window. <clears throat> because that's what you done. You set that up. You established that. You made that mistake. I'm trying to tell you guys, don't make that mistake. There's another guy out here. Okay? Pa pause it right there. Right there. He said, don't make that mistake. You know, don't bring your Western mentality here. All those things are important to keep the Filipino grounded so that you don't overspend and you become an embarrassment while you're over there. Uh, you can't, his, his wisdom on this, on this is just in, incredible. It's impeccable. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Just let me know in the comments below what you think. 
like, share, subscribe to 8,000 Miles Away. And y'all have a good week, weekend. Peace out, brother.